Hey everybody, it's Jame again. Uh, you guys are going to experience something new with me. Um, I've got a few requests already to explore Tundra back and post a video for it. So we're going to go ahead and play Tundra back. I've only played it a handful of times. Um, I'm going to play on the expert. So bear with me because... Uh, you probably have to take some organs. I kind of suck at it. But we're going to attempt to, I guess, learn this together. Hole 10 uh, is fairly straightforward. What I do is I actually look at the flag placement right here. If the flag is towards the left side of the green, then I tee off over here. If the flag's towards the right side of the green, I tee off over here. That's to elongate the green so I have the longest lane of approach for my approach shot. And I always just take a driver and a maniacs. Kind of cut it into the wind a little bit. See, by going to the left, I have a lot of green to work with. So, um, now this one here, I have not attempted to learn a stinger on this because I haven't played it a lot. I'm sure I could. But what I like to do is just line up the 8-iron or 9-iron or whatever club it's telling me to use. I think we'll go right about there maybe. Uh, something uh, go back in a little bit okay we gotta lose seven yards that's like 5.4 percent uh the up two and the two in kind of cancel out so we're going to take off about six percent so we need to go about 94 percent be my guess one bad Hair long, I went, a, I went a little heavy on the 94, but the accuracy was good. Hold two. Pretty straightforward. Just bombing out there with a the driver maniacs regardless of the wind. Kind of set up for the winds. So that way you're going to end up in the middle of the fairway. Again, don't really play too much with the trying to sting it. I'm sure other guys have. I, I have not played this enough to attempt to try stingers yet. We need to lose 19 yards. That's like 18% off. About two forward with the wind. It's 1920. We're going to add back five for the up five. We need to go 15% off. I was a hair short on the 15. If I had gone exactly 15, it would have went in the hole, but we'll take the GSP. Here's where it starts to get tricky. Oh, this green is downhill. And I don't believe the seven hour seven wood's gonna make it. So we're gonna go, we're gonna kind of shift over for a little bit more than an 11 left wind. Uh, we need to take off four yards, which is 1.6%. That wind is probably about a, we'll call it a two forward, take off 3%. That's a 5% for the sniper, but I believe it plays downhill. So if this lands flag high at 251, we know that it's down two. It's a down two green. So I've learned that now. About a about a down two. <clears throat> All right, this one can be difficult if the wind's in your face. If the wind's in your face, I recommend using a javelin. If the wind's sideways or at your back, I recommend using a maniac and hitting it over everything and just getting up there the fairway. See, I still haven't learned the bounces of these, so I am going to take a mulligan here. 
that tells me I need to go to the, uh, try to land on the right side of the fairway some. So that way when it bounces left, it stays on the fairway. Yeah, we're good. <clears throat> All right. Green's level with us. It's no up or down, so it's going to play true. We need to lose 18 yards. 18 yards is 10% is 13.2. 4.8 is another 3.6. So 13.6 off minus 2. We'll go like 16% off. And we're going to actually just go ahead and leave it where it's at and go 16% off. Hopefully we can get that left forward to just kick it in the hole. Yeah. So it plays about an up one for the most part. Fairly true. Here is one of the hardest ones to par. And I've found that the best thing you can do is try to land on that little sliver for the high loft driver. And let it just kind of skirt down like that. Okay. Now we have the distance three and a half, four, five. We're going to go over about right. Yeah. Now we'll go right about here. Okay, three and a half down. Uh, looks like it's going to be about right, so we're just going to send it full with the nine wood. If anything will end up being a hair short. See? I don't know how high it's going to go, so we need to go up to the seven wood. Let's try, let's try that with a sniper. I think it plays up four, so we're going to play nine nine off for this 18 21 is 2 12 13 percent it's like 5.6 percent off let's see if this plays up for it does so the elevation change in that hole is four percent uphill so if you go at it with a javelin, you're going to have to play like up eight. Again, learning new things. This hole sucks. Like major donkey cock. I fucking hate it. When the wind's in your back, you can try to go at it directly, I think. 3.3... 7.7. 7. We're going to try to just go at this full with a three wood sniper and see what it does. <clears throat> I don't know if it's going to clear the mountain. I've never tried. We're way short. <clears throat> I assume it plays up some, so we're going to go here. Go right about there. All right, so if the three wood ends up losing 1% with a 7.7% .7 gain, 6.7, so it's like 7% off. So if we lose 7% on that, we're going to lose 23 to 302. We need to gain 15, which is 4.7, 7.7. We need to go like 97% with the high loft driver. Still short. Let's try one more time. Just for shits and giggles, just for funsies. Let's try like 99.5%. 99 99.5% would end up being like 323, 2% off. So it's like 10%. Plays up five. That's really weird. Can't fall in the hole, but 
Yeah, it plays up five for the elevation. Again, we're learning the we're learning it as we go. Um, I'm gonna take a mulligan, not to try to sink it, to show you when there's wind wind at your back. I've seen, and you have to obviously use a different club. I've seen guys do this. And I'm not good at this, so bear with me. No, nope, no, nope, that's not gonna work. Again, I don't know this course very well. I'm just trying to show you the ropes for it. So let's try the six foot then. Yeah, that's that's where you that's where you want to aim at. But I didn't quite swipe straight. Let me try it one more time. I look, I'm embarrassing the fuck out of myself. But who cares? It's just a game. All right, let's see if I can actually swipe this straight this time. Go straight. I think that's good. That's one way to get on the green right there. When you have wind going in your face. So, obviously I can't putt from there, so that means I get another chance at holding out the... Maybe need to go 99.5%. Let's try it. Get in the hole. So close. Good enough though, right? Just didn't want to slide that last little bit. All right, this hole here, I have no idea what most people do, but I have found that regardless, the only thing I ever do is aim for the other tee box over there. And here's the approach shot I completely suck at. I have no idea what I'm doing on this, at least not yet. So we're just going to see what that does. Okay, that didn't quite work. What if we take it and go at it straight like this? Naked. That's not bad. Now I know you could probably go at it with a... Maniacs, but I have no idea how the... I, know, I have no idea the elevation height things on this yet. Okay. So you, I imagine if it's a front pin, it's going to be a pain in the ass to try to do. So we're going to go like 97.5%. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much all you're going to do is just try to maniacs it up there real good. All right. This pin, I always gold high T, so that way it kind of a, gets rid of the whole effect of the uphill as much. Uh, change it over to here. We need to lose 30 yards. So we're looking at like 17 and a half percent off. We're landing at 7%, seven percent, seven and a half, so like 10% off, 96.3. I think we're gonna go at this full and call it 3% uphill. We're gonna try that. See where we're at. We got a lucky bounce. Let's try to go over a little bit more. I wanna see where it's actually gonna land if we need to go 143. Again, if it's 3% uphill, it should land near the flag. Two yards shy, so it's like 4% uphill. plays like 4% uphill. It's not bad. Let's use a grabber instead then. Not good. That made it worse. So we could try to go to a 5 iron using orbits, something like that. 
and go like 98% maybe. Yeah, I mean, again, this is not really a course you're going to attack flags at. The greens are very, very sloped. The idea is get on, get your foot, try to get some GSPs when the pins are attackable. All right, and my by far my least favorite fucking hole because I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing on it. I play this one by ear. That looks good to me. We're going to go at this full with a maniac and just kind of see what it does. All right, it got 290. So now that we know that, we're going to go back to do some math. The, the wind's pre pretty sideways, but a little bit in our face. Um, we're looking at like probably about a 510. So if we got five down, we're looking at like 2.5% off. The Maniacs adds eight typically. So we're adding 5.5. We're going to add like 17 yards to 324. We went 290, which is 34. So it's 11% elevation, which is fucking insane. So if we had 11% for, if we need to add 11% for elevation, we're looking at 31 down is 261. I think this should be pretty close, but I don't think that we're going to, we're, we're going to land on the green where we want to. Yeah. And that, that pretty much sums it up. I mean, it, it, as you can see, if I try to, if I try to take like two and a half percent off, I don't even think we're gonna land on the green. But that's the that's the amount I'd have to take off to try to hold it. It's just not that's not an attackable pin with the maniacs. I mean and if we try to go at it here like this with a high loft driver and a orbits or something. Or no not an orbits because it's an up seven. Go at it like this with a high loft driver and a sticky. I don't even know if we're gonna make the green. We just barely do. So as you can see, there's many different ways to go at this. This one right here, I would say you're probably just gonna be better off trying to learn it by feel. I bet this bounces backwards off the green. I don't even know if it's possible to go at this. That's how you're gonna have to make it if you wanna make it. Get a lucky shot like that. So that's generally how you play it. Um, if you want help, tips, stuff like that, as far as certain holes, send me your send me your quest. Um, hey, hole thirteen, and give me the pin, you know pin location, wind conditions, and I'll try to recreate it to show you how to play that specific shot. But uh, tundra back. I, th I think most people can agree that Tundra Back is the hardest nine holes in the game. Uh, at least for me it is. It's super fun because it's, nothing is straight up. You're not going to go out here and attack this and put up minus 17, minus 18. You know, I took a shitload of mulligans to get the 85,000 GSPs. But you're not going to go put up 40, 50,000 great shot points on this course. It's just not designed for that. It's designed to test your ability to hone in on your shots so you can leave yourselves relatively makeable putts and being able to differentiate between like you saw on hole hole 18 what when to use the maniacs uh what power to give it what club when to use the grabber when to use the sniper um it really really tests your ability to determine when to use each specific kind of ball and maximize that ball's uh that ball's abilities and know how they're going to land on different slopes and different effects of greens so <clears throat> i hope that helps um again i know it wasn't much of a tutorial in comparison to some of the other ones i've done but that's the fourth time i've played uh tundra peak Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, any other requests, let me know. I'm trying to get Jordan 
to play me in a head-to-head -head using nothing but orbits and grabbers so I can ex explain how different clubs are affected by specifically the orbit ball. And thanks for guys, thanks for watching you guys. You guys are awesome.